Water combing, cutting, smoothening and drilling, shellcraft jewelry it is. An art that has become the livelihood of a group of women in Zanzibar. Collecting seashells has become an integral part of their income. Their routine, eat the flesh and sell the shell. Lulu Haji Hamisi is not an early riser here. She has to wait for low tide for her to strike. My hands pick anything so long as it can be eaten or be sold to fetch money for my needs. Unlike in other beaches, the women here do not wait for the waves to wash the shells off the sea. They have to search and retrieve them from water. By 7 in the morning, Lulu is set for the journey. From the shore, she walks for more than an hour to find her treasure. In a day, she can fill two buckets with different species of sea life. Sometimes, this takes up to five hours of water combing. However, this routine rarely turns out to be smooth. We have problems when you do this work. At times, you can cut yourself while searching for the shells, and it can be disgusting also looking at them. In a good day, she can make around 13 US dollars. This job is able to feed her family. Lulu's work is not the jewelry making. Hers is to collect the shells and sell to those who know how to decorate them. Chaza Cooperative Society is a place where the women meet to advance their training. Here, finished products from members are sold collectively. We meet a group of young women who are busy showing each other the skills needed to make something beautiful. We started in 2006 to conserve the environment. Then came Mrs. Nariman, who told us that we've had enough unexploited resources. A meeting was called and we accepted to start a group. Professor Nariman Jidawi is the inspiration behind the group. She has been teaching women how to preserve the selfish so the business will be sustainable. Apart from collecting and then uh, making shells, then they have to have no tech zones. They have some no tech zone in this area, somewhere there, where no, you can see nobody's collecting because uh, that is the no tech zone. No one is allowed to collect anything because it's supposed to, to keep these alive and reproduce and also feed adjacent sites. And they monitor these sites uh, uh, twice a year. And we told them that if they start this and they feel it, does, it is not working, they can stop. But since 2006 until now, they are doing it and it is working and they have realized themselves they go just to, to collect a few. It's a lot, they collect a lot. At the University of Dar es Salaam Institute of Marine Sciences, breeding of different sea animals is done. In this hatchery, young shellfish are hatched. They are then taken back to the ocean for the women to rear them till they're big enough to be harvested. The project is funded by the US aid. With the agency's help, many women have been going to the United States of America to get training on how to make jewelry. Safi Hashi Makame is a mother of six and a beneficiary of the training. She is a farmer turned artist. Her work entails buying shells from collectors and turning them into beauty accessories. At her house, she skillfully gives shape to these exoskeletons. Her artistry has earned respect from far and wide. She is a teacher to many. When university students come from America, they hire my house and pay me to teach them on how to make jewelry. They usually come after some period. She buys one shell for 500 Tanzanian shillings, which is about a quarter of a dollar, and sells at 15,000 to 20,000 Tanzanian shillings, the equivalent of around 9 to 14 US dollars, depending on the size. 
Her products are sold within the island of Zanzibar to locals and tourists. I used to depend on my husband, but now I'm not. On my own, I have built this house from the business and I have bought things like fridge, freezer, and bicycles for my children. I have no problem sustaining myself. Makame now plans to expand her business and make more for her family. From functional homes to the simplest creatures, these shells become things of beauty to the local artists and Zanzibar's visitors.